Hello my scrappy friends, it is Jess here from the Scrappy Sisters and thank you for joining me for a Kidholics Kits Design Team layout. This is the sketch for day number 22 of Christie's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches and this sketch is created by Shannon Blinn. So this sketch I really did stick to quite closely. Even in her sketch she highlighted some um, beautiful sparkly paper and Steph gave us some incredible sparkly sparkly gold paper this month uh, so I couldn't resist so I did gut out the sparkles because I didn't want to use it all in by matting her by matting it so I've just got a one inch um, border that I am uh, adhering my 11 by 11 paper to and then I have laid out my photos in the same way as um designed in the sketch I've got my three photos down the left hand side and my last photo as well still being that little bit bigger obviously my photo sizes are different to what the sketch indicates but still the same flow i then did a reasonably sized title um with my big happy birthday and then i went to town with embellishments i just wanted to use all the things because they were pretty and i liked them and i wanted to use them all so i did uh i did have an awful lot of trouble sticking on my vellum i used wet glue and my pva wet glue is very very wet and it just made my um vellum curl which as you watch this go you will see it curl up and basically come off the page for my next layout when i use the vellum i stick it with my atg gun and it is so much better last week's layout for kidaholics kids on the 16th that i created um i actually had glued my vellum to white paper and fussy cut it out that was the presents and the flowers if you saw last week's layout and it just looked like normal ephemera so sometimes i do that with vellum and sometimes i leave it see-through because i like that sort of opaqueness um, and it adds a little bit of texture to your layout by having a variety but ah oh, you can see it is not playing game it's well it is playing games with me today it is not playing ball so i end up adding a little bit more glue and then i end up actually putting my glue container on top of it to help hold it down because it is not sticking so definitely atg is my go-to for the next layout where i use um vellum then i just do a tiny little cluster right up in the top left hand corner i just felt like it needed something else but i didn't have a huge amount of space up there so i just pop a few little bits and pieces in there but try not to cover anything too important then i will put on a few enamel stars because they're cute stars or dots actually what did i end up going for can't remember <laughs> um and then of course some splatters because you know i can't resist my gold splatters especially because this paper has just got so many touches of gold already with the gold sparkle around the borders as well as some gold foiling that comes on the paper this kit just has everything and i love it it's got sparkle it's got foil it's got vellum it's got ribbon it's got the works cannot resist so while i'm fighting with my glue over here this is again another photo from tom's birthday um so the lolly shop cake was down uh, where my my parents live so with grandma and grandpa for his birthday this ice cream cake is with nan and pa for his birthday um and i think that's all the ones of the week before with the circle layout, that was my own birthday. That was not uh, Tom's birthday. So we have just had quite a few birthdays that I have not scrapped yet. So this kit could not have come at a more perfect time. Um, so now I am up to splattering. So you know that means that my close-up photos are coming up. And I think this layout turned out super, super cute. I love the busy background. But just to make sure you can see those embellishments, you can tell that I did mount them onto a piece of paper first. So like that uh, yellow and cream sort of backing paper was just to mount my embellishments on so they didn't get lost. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all soon.